Building the Lego stage for the Guilty Club song Waiting was a lot of fun. Let me show you how I did it. To start off I used a layer of plates. I laid it out so that it was 36 studs wide and 24 deep. Next I needed two layers of bricks. The plates and bricks are important, I will show you why later. Next I built the bulk of the stage. For this I used some brick plates from an Indiana Jones set. I decided to leave the back of the stage open so that I could have my drum set raise up and down from the stage. Next I needed to cover up the guts of the stage since there were different colors used with some plates. This is where the layer of plates and two layers of bricks with the Indiana Jones brick plates are important. All these together make it so that a four wide stud plate lies flush with the top and the bottom. Next what I did was I added some bricks and plates for building a place for the drum set. I used some angled pieces to give a little bit of aesthetic appeal. For my video, I have the drum set come out of the ground, so I made these pieces so that they could easily go on or off. Next I put down some markers for where to put the drum set, the guitar, the DJ booth, and the speakers in the back. Once the stage was all put together, I added some construction support pieces to the sides and plates on top to hold them together. All the stage needed now was the details. The first instrument I built was the drum set. I got some inspiration from the LEGO Rock Band set, but I added some adjustments. I really wanted to have the snares and hi-hat in the metallic colors. Luckily the gold metallic pieces for the hi-hat had just come out in the fairground mixer set. For the beginning of the movie I wanted to have a lot of glow in the dark elements so I was happy that a glow in the dark piece had just come out for the bass drum in a mixel set. I used this to make it so that the drum set could glow in the dark. Next I put together the DJ booth. For this I built a keyboard that turned out really good. I felt like a typical concert DJ would have a laptop and a record player so I added those and made the table have some curves to give it an electronic funky look. Next I needed the elements for the guitarist. I didn't want him to just have a guitar so I added a foot pedal sound bar and his own speaker. For the speaker I added a little bit of angle to make it look like a real guitar speaker amp. The last instrument element was the mic for the singer. I built this just a little different from the other band members mics because I didn't want it to attach to the ground. I wanted her to be able to pick the mic up and move it around. Next I built the large speakers in the back. These were a pretty simple build of some black bricks, technique bricks, and dish pieces. Even though the build was simple, I felt they turned out looking pretty good. The stage was looking really good here but I decided to add one more element. I built some smaller speakers for the side of the stage. These were built very similar to the large speakers except I added some clips to the back to give them a curve like you see in a real stage. With everything added, the stage was complete and looking awesome. There you have it. That's how we made the Lego stage for the Guilty Club song, Waiting. If you like this video, make sure to check out the real rock concert stage video of the Guilty Club song, Waiting. And of course subscribe for more awesome Lego videos.